Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can model a nice thick anchor chain. I'm going to create and I'm going to select the disk. And I'm going to place a disk here on the line and I'm going to have this on eight sides as you see here. Drag it out just a little bit and then I'm going to press return. I'm then going to use the lather command over at multiply, lather, and then I'm going to set my cursor here in the center, hold the mouse down and drag down. I'm then going to make like this donut here. I'm going to press space to finish the tool and I'm going to F for flip the polygons as you see here they are inside out. I'm then going to take these polygons here in polygon mode, control C, control X and control V again to detach them from the top and I'm then going to move them down here, shortcut T like this. And deselect here. I now need to close the holes here to connect the chain. So I'm going to point mode, lasso these, press P for polygon, lasso here, P for polygon, lasso here, P for polygon, and lasso here, P for polygon. I can now go to polygon mode, select these facing each other, and I use shift key to make multi selection like this and I can then go to connect and select combine bridge and it's now going to join this here so I can deselect and if I press the tab key now you'll see I have a very nice thick anchor chain I can then make this a little bit more advanced I'll disable the tab key here and I will use the knife, shift K and I will knife over here and I will then use the right mouse to clone the life the knife down here again like this and I can then go over here, select these polygons select these polygons and I can again select bridge I'll deselect them and select this polygon turn it around select this polygon and I will then stretch modify stretch and then place my cursor in the center and drag this down like this and I now got an even more advanced anchor chain and as you see it's bending rather soft here I can get this edge to become somewhat sharper by knifing here so I'll turn off the sub patching again using the tab key and then I'll knife again shift K and I'll knife down right here and again on the other side press space and I'm done so we can then press the zero key here when the mouse is up here on the numeric and get the full view and press tap and let's select normal texturing as you see now I have a very nice soft anchor joint that I could then of course copy I'll place my mouse up here, I've copied and pasted it now, I'll then press R for rotate and then I will drag it up like this I will lasso these Control C, Control V and drag it up again using the move tool like this deselect and you now see I'm starting to make a nice anchor chain. So, that's about it.